Hey everybody, this is Perch, and normally we'd be doing this on a Friday live stream. Unfortunately, there's no live streams uh, due to some traveling around, so I still wanted to give you a sense of what's coming out to the comic shop next week. This would be for uh, Wednesday, July 21st, technically July 20th if it's DC, but a bunch of new comics coming out. Let's see if we can kind of talk about what's going on this week in comics, how many comics there are, how it all feels, how it all stacks up, and everything else. So let's take a look at that we've got some of the mini deaths of layla star we've got a xenoscope book there we've got a firefly book from boom we got some crazy manga wonder girl yara yara gang it, it, man this is issue three of wonder girl and it feels like the buzz and hype and excitement around uh wonder girl and yara floor was like roughly 10 million years ago doesn't it this is issue three is coming out doesn't it seem like it's been a lot longer than that i uh anyway the, the, that's a video for another time of how in the world did DC screw up uh, what was a success coming out of, uh, in, you know, uh, Future State and all that. I mean, I, that, that, that character had so much momentum. Anyway, I mean, all things considered. So let's take a look. Next uh, week, uh, we will have 105 comics, which, as we say every week, is way too many. 28 publishers. Uh, Marvel and DC are tied. Again, remember um, just... I don't know, six months ago where we were talking about DC was going to stop publishing comics and they were winding it all back. And they were, they remember people were pining for the days when uh, they were actually putting out 52 comics and it was, uh, they're way off that. I remember people talking about that. We're way off of DC's 52. And, um, you know, in the month of, uh, you know, for what it's worth in the month of July, uh, not only are they putting out more than fit, they're putting out 62 comics. So 10 more than 52. Uh, but anyway, um, image, IDW kind of round out the uh, the top. And uh, one, one fifth, about average, about one fifth of the comics are number one issues. Uh, Flash being the highest numbered issue. But it, it's I need to figure out a better way to do this um, where I'm promoting kind of uh, the, you know, when we get past, maybe the best way to put it is how many comics are above 100. Because this week, I think it's three. But anyway, let's take a look at what we've got. Um, right out the gate, uh, here we go. We have uh, a number of comics, including this Destiny New York by uh, Pat Chand, who's been on the channel, I think, a couple times. He's uh, hilarious. Love to have him on. Uh, that's being published by Black Mass Studios. Um, AWA is putting out Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal, which is actually a hell of a good book. Um, it's, it's a weird name. It doesn't roll off the tongue, but it is a really solid book that I, I would definitely... Um, uh, recommend for sure. Uh, American mythology is putting out gross pictures of women cutting their faces off. Um, and there's a handful of other things out here. Um, uh, ablaze, uh, Maria Lovett's Aero psyche. That's fine. Uh, absolute comics with Katrina. Um, there's, there's a few on here worth picking up. But like I said, um, on this page, I'll pick up destiny, New York. It's a fun little book. Um, uh, Marjorie Finnegan definitely is a, a fun book there. Uh, I know that there's some stuff off Aftershock. I've, I've read Seven Swords. I have not read Silver City yet. Um, I didn't particularly care for Project P uh, Patron. <laughs> I should, uh, but no. Uh, the only Project Patron is in my house. Anyway, um, next page. Here we go. Uh, Beckstar, obviously. This is being done by Joe Corallo, who's a frequent guest on the show. So this is number three. It's a, it's a solid little series. Again, lots of violence, very little eating and drinking. Um, Boom is putting out a couple things here. I think we only find them when they're dead. Number eight. That's a that's a it's a, it's a solid series, but it is slow moving. And I think there's a you know at least from what I've heard from other people, uh, other shops, especially in the area, people talking about which kind of big hyped indie books have lost some momentum. Uh, we only find them when they're dead. Seems to have lost quite a bit, but it's it's still a solid little book. Uh, but it is it is moving at just a snail's pace. Um, I'm not a big fan of the new Firefly uh, stuff. I, I mean, Power Rangers, sure, if you're if you're into that, it's fine. Uh, Dark Horse, Black Hammer Reborn. Uh, this is number two. Number one was pretty solid. Um, it's it's entertaining kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Far Cry. Lady Baltimore was, it was wrapping up here with number five. That's a good book. Um, we have a handful of Dynamite comics. Yes, I would not let I would not leave you hanging. We'll definitely take a, a deeper look. No pun intended. At Dynamite here in a few minutes. With four books, I mean, you got to imagine there's there's some stuff to look at. Um, heavy Metal, number 308. Uh, is she still wearing armor? Ah, who knows? Um, and, of course, Beckstar, number three. Um, 
here uh, DC Comics. Now this is a lot of DC Comics in one week. And so you start to kind of get a picture of what we're looking at here. Um, we get a Batman Catwoman special, which for, for whatever reason, uh, maybe because there's delays in Batcat, uh, we're trying to fill the void any way we can. Blue and gold, so promising to bring us back to the Bwahaha kind of era of Justice League uh, International, or just Justice League when, when Dematis was, was on that book. Um, hopefully this is good. It's a different team, certainly. And they're uh, supposed to be obsessed with social media, which I, I got to tell you does not uh, bode well uh, in my book. But you do have the number one issue of Shazam. You have the uh, number two issue of Tom King's Supergirl. You have the number one issue of Grant Morrison's Superman and the Authority. And then you do have Wonder Girl number three. So quite a bit. Actually, it's a really big week for DC. Um, sort of. It, it is actually the uh, of the four weeks in July, it is the second lightest week. Uh, the first week they published more and next week, the week after this, they're publishing much more, which is, uh, again, nuts to think about. Uh, IDW Bermuda, I've heard some really good things about. Anxious to check that out. Um, Yusagi Ojimbo is always a good series. Um, I, Rick and Morty is funny. I really like Rick and Morty, the show. Um, I can't stand the comic. So so there you go. And Possessed by Xenoscope uh, should be some fun stuff. Um, over here in Image, again, look at all these Image comics. I mean, this is this isn't again an absurd amount of image comics. We're talking twenty three image comics uh, this week, which is, uh, I mean, just look at all this. <laughs> what are you going to do? I even screwed up. If you look at it here, Compass and Deadly Class on the same line, just to kind of fit on the page. Um, anyway, I do like Deadly Class. Um, I really do like uh, Jupiter's Legacy. Uh, Requiem is a really good series. First issue was was great. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I hope uh, some people check it out. I do. I, I hate that it's five issues. Again, <laughs> I, I don't know what it is that bugs me about the five-issue deal, but that's that's just me. But I'm, I'm very excited about seeing that. Philadelphia is always a good time. Post-Americana wraps up with issue seven, um, supposedly. Uh, I, I, I don't know if this is entirely accurate. I'll believe it a little bit when I see it, but I, I that's a great series. Again, it's Mad Max. Um, a bunch of people completely missed the boat in calling uh, post-Americana some kind of uh, co a commentary on Trump. Um, it, it's Mad Max. I mean, it has it in the most recent issue. They've got animatronic people trying to murder other people. It's it's like that. There's no. It, it's a nuts book, but it's it's super fun. Um, I'm not a big fan of Radiant Black. I, I again, and this is another book that that has uh, sunk in terms of. Uh, uh, buzz in the store, at least from what I've heard from other retailers. Maybe other people are saying other things. Uh, Skybound continues the sci-fi adventures of Rick Grimes. Uh, Spawn is out here. That sounds good. Undiscovered Country. Walk on. It's another book that's lost a lot of momentum. And, um, you know, here's a uh, scout has a couple things. Dark Age has been a solid little series. Sam and his talking gun sounds like a hilarious series. It uh, it hasn't been. We don't kill spiders. I've heard some good things about. So a couple couple good things on there. Finally, our last page here, um, we get from Marvel. Um, we, get, we get Image publishing more books this week than Marvel. Again, why? Why? But okay. Anyway, um, that it, no, by the way, this is not an argument for Marvel to publish more. Just, just to be clear. Um, Alien. Alien's been pretty solid, i be honest with you. I, I, LaRocca's art I am struggling with, but it has been a, it's been a solid little book. We are into the extreme carnage. We are into... Uh, you know, some other things going on here. We're post gala with uh, new mutants and marauders. So that now they're now they're taking trips to Mars, I guess. Um, the, the Miles Morales Spider-Man storyline right now, their clone saga storyline. Um, the clone saga branding hurt it. This is actually probably the, one of the stronger storylines that the Miles Morales book has had uh, lately. This one uh, and the assessor storyline are actually pretty, pretty damn good. Um, if they had not called it the clone saga, I think it would have gotten a lot more a good acclaim. It's it's. I feel like they kind of sabotaged it a little bit uh, by calling it that. It's actually not bad. I know people who who decided to not to pick it up for that reason, and I don't know what they're trying to do there. Um, X Men Legends. Peter David is doing two issues, um, and that's going to be great with the classic X Factor team. Um, nice that you know X Factor, annoying version X Factor just got canceled, and here's cool version X Factor. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, we get uh, a handful of things. Uh, heavy is pretty solid from Vault. Um, wasted Space is, I mean, it's all right. Um, uh, Ascendia 
from Wake Entertainment is not bad. I, I have not read Extraordinary, but people keep recommending that as well. So sounds good. And Tokyo Pop, Her Royal Highness seems angry. I mean, come on. That's with a title like that. What are you going to do? Speaking of crazy titles, we have a uh, you know, kind of smaller amount of crazy things. Manga did not go that crazy this week. We had uh, Cutie and the Beast, Otaku Elf, which I just that's cute and crazy. And then she professed herself pupil of the wise man. Sounds very, sounds like an intellectual title, but somehow probably not. Um, and B stars, B stars sounds like a, a 90s throwback book. I mean, it's got a lizard guy with a jacket and shoes on. So anyway, that's everything that we have going on. I hope you enjoy. Oh, wait, wait. Well, how could I forget dynamite? Of course, let's take a deeper look at dynamite. We do get, um, you know, quite a bit. Uh, I did a Barbarella looking great there. She's got a knife and a gun. Uh, definitely. That, this is some great throwback stuff there. Uh, a lot of kind of photo covers. Uh, Vampirella defying gravity and everything else. That one vengeance of Vampirella there in the, the bottom middle uh, is ruined by this creepy looking guy. And, and you can see it's it's like his creepy looking face is actually making her face look goofier. But but you might say, yeah, this is this is kind of an ordinary week. We don't have that much for Dynamite. But I say to you, how about a second page of Dynamite? Yes, with four comics, there's plenty to choose from, including Red Sonia, uh, you know, basically with the worst possible way to defeat an enemy, uh, lay on your back and let her grope you. Um, but uh, that's what you got a knife there. Do something with it. But anyway, a um, <laughs> couple other couple photo covers. Uh, man, those those metal those metal uh, pasties are just going to heat up, and it's going to be super unpleasant. Um, and you know, Betty Page holding the uh, the uh, chastity belt lock. Um, and those, that, all this metal gear, it's not going to be great. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you're looking forward to picking up. A lot of comics next week, even bigger. A uh, hundred, I mean, man, 105 comics this week. Next week, are you ready? Rounding out the end of July, 137 comics in one week. Um, anyway, let me know what you're collecting and what you're buying in the comments below. Curious to get your thoughts and, uh, Hey, like and subscribe. Hope to see you in a live stream again soon. And thanks for listening.